breaking news overnight. Mexican authorities, as you mentioned, Amy, detaining wealthy 18-year-old Ethan Couch, known as the affluenza teen, after a fatal drunk driving accident. The Texas teenager and his mother were on the run for weeks. After he allegedly violated probation, they were both taken into custody near Puerto Vallarta. ABC's Matt Gutman has the latest from Fort Worth, Texas this morning. Matt, good morning. Hey, good morning, David. And we learned that authorities are now in the process of bringing them back here. Now, the U.S. Marshal's Office alerted the Mexicans that they were in Puerto Vallarta on uh, Christmas or the day after Christmas. Two days later, they nabbed them off a busy tourist street. Ethan Couch, famously blonde, apparently dyeing his hair and goatee black. Overnight, a three-week-long international manhunt for Ethan Couch coming to an end in Mexico with this booking photo. ABC News confirming the 18-year-old and his mother, Tanya, were detained at about 6 p.m. in the popular resort town of Puerto Vallarta. The blonde teen's hair and goatee now dyed black, his shirt open. His hands appear to be cuffed behind his back. The mother, who authorities tell us refused to sit still to be photographed, apparently also changing her look cutting her hair. Mother and son are now being transported to Guadalajara as the legal process to fly them back to the U.S. begins. Affluenza. Too rich for jail. Couch was just 16 when he killed four people drunk driving in 2013. He pled guilty but was sentenced to only probation after his legal team argued he suffered from affluenza, an unrecognized condition caused by his spoiled upbringing that apparently prevented him from knowing right from wrong. I have never seen a case that sparked such outrage, that sparked such emotion from people. Four totally innocent people were taken away in a second by the irresponsible actions of this juvenile. That video posted earlier this month to Twitter <laughs> shows Couch at a party near a beer pong table. The sheriff believes that is what caused Couch, who is not supposed to drink according to his probation, to skip his next probation meeting and flee. But I think that was the trigger that sent him running once that video surfaced. The U.S. Marshals and FBI joined the hunt for Couch last week amid worries the parolee would flee the country and change his appearance. He's not the kind of person who rehabilitates, who learns his lesson. Now, after his conviction, Ethan Couch didn't spend a single day in prison. That is likely to change, but because he is still considered a juvenile here in Texas and because he's still suspected of only a single violation of parole, he probably won't spend much time behind bars. David. Matt, thanks so much. We want to bring in ABC News legal analyst Dan Abrams this morning. Dan, always great to have you with us. And if he was on the run because of these social media videos, which authorities say he was, doesn't this make this a lot worse for him now? Uh, sure. Uh, it, it doesn't help at all that he seems to be trying to escape. But as an escape effort, you go to Puerto Vallarta over Christmas when everyone there are American tourists? I mean, I think there's this image that, oh, you can go to Mexico and you can escape justice. If you go to Mexico, they're going to send you back. If you go to Mexico, you have to hide in Mexico. You can't go to Puerto Vallarta and hope that you're not going to get caught there. So he is in more legal trouble than he was, but I think Matt is right uh, that you're talking about um, still limited amount of time behind bars because they're still going to have to prove that he violated the probation in the sense that he was drinking. Just being at the party where people are drinking isn't going to be enough to put him behind bars, but the fact that, that he left, and if they can, can prove that he was trying to escape, that could do it. All right, so don't go to Puerto Vallarta. That's the exactly. lesson here. Yeah. In the meantime, the mother, how much does she face at all in terms of punishment if she did help him yeah. run? If the goal was, if the intent was for her to help him evade justice, she could be facing um, the criminal justice system as well. Um, so they're now both facing the possibility of being in jeopardy because of this. But again, they're going to have to prove that they weren't just on vacation, but that this was an intentional effort right. to evade justice. Vacation's over. Yep. Dan Abrams, thanks.